Asus TV is here at the Asus booth learning about the basics of overclocking. Extreme overclocking is gaming industry's Formula One. It can be done safely without hardware, but you, if you really want to get kicks out of it and break records, you have to go extreme. I have here overclocking expert. Hi, could you introduce yourself and tell me how you got involved to overclocking? And my name is Marcus, aka Kink, and basically I just got a lot of free time and I was building computers a lot and got more and more interested in freedom work and pushing the scores. And it just went away with first air and the way to liquid nitrogen. So basically that's how it st started out. Okay, what's the general idea behind the overclocking? What's the process in nutshell? Uh, at the beginning it's to get more power for less money. So you buy cheaper stuff and you clock it to more expensive stuff to be as good as it. But at, at my level when you're doing that you get to a level where it becomes a sport. Where you just want to get higher scores for the thrill of it. And there is basically no use for it. You just get a lot of performance which just is a lot of fun to, to watch and to experience. Just like Formula One or drag racing or those motorsports. It's the same thing but with computers. What makes overclocking extreme? Is there rules for the competitions? Uh, extreme overclocking is when you use, you can, you can say, sub-zero temperatures on, on the hardware. Like you cool down the CPU to, to minus 100 degrees and the graphics cards as well. And when you really, really push it, and you just push it for the thrill of the performance you can see in benchmarks like Freedom Mark. That, that's, that's basically it. Is there any rules for the competition? Uh, the rules is set by the benchmarks, like Freedom Mark again. It's, uh, uh, you just run the benchmark and the benchmark will take care of everything. The authentication, that it's no cheating involved. The benchmark takes that you get a save file which you upload to a database, which then again uh, gets checked by, by the database so it's, so it's true, so you can see. And for championships there is always uh, like judges with, that, that can see and uh, if there's any cheating going on, so it's a fair game. So and the, the rules are set by the benchmarks and uh, it's kept by the benchmark and, and judges in, in championships. Yeah, thank you. And uh, what if your this hardware acceleration is not your thing? You don't want to do the overclocking by buying a liquid nitrogen, is there any other way, like software or something, which can help the home, people at home, to overclock their computers? Yeah, that there are, I mean, we, even extreme overclocking we do with software tools. We have no hardware tools at all anymore. The only hardware tool we have is tweak it on Rampage to Extreme, which is in a it's software on board in the hardware. You use a controller directly on the motherboard, which controls the software, which controls the BIOS. But there also are uh, features like um, uh, Turbo V, which is uh, Asus software, which will let you adjust anything. You can overclock your uh, memory, your uh, CPU, and uh, also there is uh, um, the same kind of software for your graphics cards called uh, Voltage Tweak, which uh, is featured on a lot of graphics cards these days. And um, they are very um, user friendly and, and uh, if, if you take it slow, basically anybody can, can do it to start out. So there is a, software is the main way to overclock these days. Yeah. What is the safest way to start? You, should you go to water cooling, air cooling or what is the safest way for the home user to start overclocking? It's air cooling I would say. You just, you can buy, you know, when you buy a CPU you get a generic, pretty standard CPU cooler which uh, can, it, it, it has a headroom so you can clock it a bit to get a feel of it, how it works and then you can buy um, a third party cooler and which is much better than the one you get with the CPU and see the difference and after that you can move to water cooling, even phase change or if you want to go extreme and make it a sport you can go with liquid nitrogen or uh, even dry ice works as well. Okay, thanks for the interview and good luck with in future with the overclocking. Yeah. Thank you.